What do you know about the syringe gun? It's the first weapon you start off with as medic, and it occupies this little space here, sure. But what do you think it actually does? It obviously can't heal anybody, the crossbow and metagun have that covered. It's not very good at killing anybody, and even if it was, the blue sagger is still better in that respect. Well, maybe it grants the medic some sort of passive benefit that's hardly noticeable. but oh. Okay, so maybe it's not the top of the toolbox, but if that's the case, then why does this thing even exist in the first place? I mean, sure, TF2's no stranger to broken toys, but this is a stock weapon. Almost unanimously, stock weapons are still the most reliable tools for literally any class to use. Except for this one. The default medic comes with not one, but two completely obsolete weapons that cannot hold a candle to the rest of the medic's arsenal these days. It's enough to say that using either of these puts you at a very real disadvantage, and the idea that they could offer more than the others is <laughs> laughable. The bone saw gets a pass here, simply because it shares the same properties as most of the other stock melee weapons do anyway, and it doesn't help the medic do anything other classes can't. However, the syringe gun fascinates me in sort of the same way that people who are incredibly out of touch online do, and I feel that the syringe gun's existence in the first place is dependent more on context, and in order to understand that context, we're gonna have to take a time machine all the way back to the days when Valve made video games in the far off year of... 2006. Valve releases Trailer 2 for Team Fortress 2, and it's meant to tease the abilities of all, well, never mind, most of the classes. The pyro only appears for a couple seconds, and the medic's not even in it. Oh, wait, never mind, there he is, found him! Also notice something else in the shot, or more like what's not in the shot, the scatter gun. Originally, the nail gun was meant to be the scout's primary weapon, and apparently, back in the days of Team Fortress Classic, the nail gun was a weapon for a number of classes, namely scout, but another item called the Super Nail Gun was the primary for the medic. And while the nail gun got pretty far into the development process before it tanked for some reason, I don't know, the wiki wouldn't tell me, the Super Nail Gun still exists in the game to this day. Fast forward to the present again, and well, the Super Nail slash Syringe Gun is as painful to use now as it was then. I don't, I don't think I have ever have a memory of this being in my hand. I'm not gonna lie. No, stop that. Come on, be nice. Spray now. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I keep forgetting that this isn't the crossbow. That's the hardest part is not thinking you could just shoot a dart at somebody. I swear to God, every time you fire the syringe, they just disappear into nothingness. That must be, otherwise, how, how else would you explain the fact that they don't hit their target? We all know that the best weapon to push through chokes is the syringe gun. <laughs> this is. This is what it's for right here. This is what it's for. You know, it's funny, but, like, the syringe gun feels so much different than it does the Blutsauger, and I don't know why, because they the, have the exact same stats. You gotta, you gotta lead your targets like crazy, and he just got the... Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank God. Eat it, spy. The syringe gun sucks, everyone knows that, but it's built to be useless, and more so than your typical class-based shooter. Because of how much time a medic should spend healing, the quote-unquote self-defense weapon of the medics should be virtually unusable. It means nobody with any sort of common sense or brain-hemorrhaging contrarianism is going to try and kill someone with it, and in turn encourages players to use the metagun more, since that's all they can really do, and it also forces the rest of the team to pick up the slack in keeping him alive. Part of the reason I think the syringe gun hasn't gotten much of a buff over the years is because it was, for all intents and purposes, built to teach one simple rule about a class, and by wanting to change it to make it more viable as a weapon, we are literally forgetting the very first thing the syringe gun taught us back when all of us started playing Medic. You're not supposed to use the syringe gun. It's rule number one is Medic, and it's why the syringe gun has stayed so bad over the years. Once a player knows that rule and has played Medic enough to understand his role on the team, they're awarded with the blue Sauger, and it's here where the syringe gun is forced off the roster. Since using literally anything is better, or at least more interesting, it's no surprise that the first weapon you're awarded for getting medic milestones is the Blutsauger, a replacement for the syringe gun. And let's be honest, as a new player, it's not even a contest which one you'd rather equip. 
A syringe gun is a victim of that old, swampy, gray color scheme that all stock weapons suffered from back in the day, and if you're gonna choose between them, you almost invariably pick something else simply out of visual appeal. And yeah, while the Blutsauger may encourage the use of needles more, the syringe gun has already taught the player the restraint needed in order to maximize its use for the class. In other words, if they're using the Blutsauger more than they should, they know that they're using it more than they should. You see, compare that to if the medic begins with his first unlock, there's a greater chance of it confusing newcomers, and they would believe that that's what they should be doing. But the second you've earned it and equipped the Blutsauger, you've already begun your journey to discovering all the medic has to offer. And from there, the player doesn't need the syringe gun anymore, and can ride ahead without the training wheels. But even now, as easy as it is to dismiss the syringe gun as a completely useless weapon, it still does its job. It teaches someone brand new to the game one of the most fundamental basics of playing medic just by being ineffective. And it sticks around for just long enough for you to understand that this is the most important weapon in your hands. Once a player has played enough to understand that, Syringe Gun smiles and steps down because its job is done. It lets you explore the class and its abilities, because the first step in a player's path to being a greater medic is in fact replacing it and being a master of the other primaries. The syringe gun never leaves you though. It stays right here. It has watched you go from showering a heavy with needles to winning a game with that properly timed uber charge. No matter how good you feel you are at playing medic, the syringe gun was there for you when you first started, and has seen how much you've grown as a player since then, and it will always be proud of you. So appreciate the syringe gun. Appreciate what it's done for you and your learning curve, and what it's sacrificed to help you on your way. It may not deal the most damage, it may not be able to heal long distances, and it may not even help you run faster. But no matter what, through thick and thin, it will be here for you. Appreciate the syringe gun. I'm the invincible, undefeated champ I own. Mount Zion's my ancestors can't rely on. Star of David, nah, the thought of Sodom. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb. To this play button, glutton of words, mutt 